Contracts often state when and how the parties may cancel. When an optionee's tardy payment results in an automatic cancellation, the court cancels the optioner's plans in Holiday Inns of America versus Knight. Holiday had an option contract with D. Manley Knight. The contract gave Holiday the option to buy the property from Knight for about $200,000. Holiday had five years to decide to purchase the property. During that period, Holiday had to pay Knight $10,000 on the 1st of July each year. If Holiday failed to make one of the payments on time, its option was automatically canceled. Later, an amendment required that Knight deposit the payments into an escrow account with Security Title Insurance Company. Holiday developed the area around Knight's property, which increased Knight's property values. Knight accepted payments for two years. Holiday issued the third check on June 30th. Knight received the check on July 2nd, a day late. Knight returned payment to Holiday, saying the option was canceled. The same day, Holiday issued payment again, but Knight refused. On July 15th, Holiday gave a check to Security Title Insurance Company. But Knight, through his attorney, returned that check too. Holiday filed suit against Knight, asking the court to rule that the option contract hadn't been canceled. It argued that, because it mailed the check a day before it was due, the payment wasn't late. Also, it argued that, even if it was late, a California statute on forfeiture protected Holiday from losing the option. Holiday and Knight filed cross motions for summary judgment. The court granted summary judgment in Knight's favor. Holiday appealed to the California Supreme Court.